Good morning, Kitten Triage Tuesday supporters. We are joined for our final Kitten Triage Tuesday here at Multnomah County Animal Services. We're raising funds for the uh, Kitten Triage Program and the many kittens that we see in the trailer each year. We get 800 kittens, 800 to 1,000 each year. So far, our supporters, our generous supporters, have helped us raise um, over $16,498 which is amazing. We just we want to thank everybody who has uh, given of their time, of their resources, of their the contributions that are are actually saving lives here in the trailer. Um, if you would like to make a donation during our broadcast, I'm going to post a link right here. Let's see. There we go. Okay. <clears throat> Thank you, Alana, for sharing this video. We really appreciate it. <laughs> it's nice when we can see that. So, uh, this is Jackie on the right and Alana on the left. What are we going to be doing today? Well, um, we do have a kitten that needs to come out and get some food. Um, a little itty bitty that needs to be fed. Um, Said he's eating on his own, but um, oh, and we, yeah, yeah, but he's eating some we little extra. Do, we Good morning. Do yep. At the same time. Yep. Okay. I'm gonna clean out the <laughs> little okay. tub master and get it done. Yep. And if you're joining us for the first time. We want to let you know that Kitten Triage Tuesday is really just a way for you to see how your contributions are helping the kittens here in the Kitten Triage trailer. It, your donations provide for the basic needs such as feedings, vaccinations, medications that we give them for fleas and worms, helps with their spay and neuter surgery. These are just life-saving things that all the kittens need to uh, grow and thrive and to find a forever home. <clears throat> so there's there's something really beautiful about just the rudimentary basics. You know, crude is beautiful when it comes to what we need to really save lives. And Everybody. Now, does this kitten have a name yet? This kitten does not have a name yet. It's time for him to get one. Yeah. Uh, he just came in. We also want to write, remind our viewers that if you contribute at least $50 or more, <coughs> you can claim the perk to name kittens in the program. When we send you your donation receipt, you'll also have a link to uh, submit name informations, uh, pardon me, submit names for the kittens in the program. So that's just a way that we want to give you a stake in what we're doing here. Oh, look at that. Is that going to be ending uh, <coughs> when the triage ends? Or? Uh, yes. So, ah, so actually, this last day. well, next Friday is actually the last day to donate, but today is our last Kitten Triage Tuesday. Mm, so you have okay. until the end of the week to make a contribution to this program for this year. Now, this is the end of the actual active fundraising campaign, but you can make a donation for this program at any time of the year on our, on our donation page. There's an option to give to the Kitten Triage Program. But as far as the actual campaign, we're wrapping up, and you can always go back and watch these videos, and we'll be joining you next year. But this is your last chance to really have just the intimate window into the Kitten Triage program that we've had. And it's been a lot of work for for Jackie and Alana, so everybody give them a round of applause. They've been wonderful sports. And about our fosters and volunteers. Yep. They're wonderful to invite us into their space and allow us to film what they do every day. And it's not always uh, pretty pretty as they say. There's always a lot of, you know, poop and... <laughs> dirty things and ringworm kittens to treat it's it's not it's not always pretty but it's it's always life-saving it's always very important if you have any questions for Jackie or Alana you can ask them at any time <sighs> we're gonna clean his face up a little bit too it's like he's pretty social yeah, he's yeah. A can you tell me how this little guy came in 
I, I don't know exactly how he came in. Um, <laughs> he came in um, over my weekend while I was gone. Come here. Um, and we don't always have a lot of information on that. There we go. Oh, there we go. Breakfast. Yum. You're making me hungry for some gruel, kitty. <laughs> <laughs> I've got a whole thing of it here for you. <laughs> Drink up, Jay. <laughs> now, can you tell us what you put in it? For okay. those of us who are new? Um, well, I started out with a thing of baby food that we already had open for spooning out to kitties. So I mixed what was in there. I took a bunch of baby formula and hot water, mixed that together in it, and a can of pate food. And then mixed it all together to create this delicious sludge. Delicious <laughs> kitten soup. And that is not soup in the for kittens. Th that is not food, yeah. <laughs> that is our lime sulfur dip. They don't want to eat that. <laughs> <clears throat> lime sulfur dip. If you joined us uh, two weeks ago, we helped give a little ringworm kitten some lime sulfur dip. It was a, it was a very aromatic bath. I'm really yeah. sorry that you folks couldn't smell it from where you were, but it was well, very... We had that feature. Yeah, if you've ever been to, you know, Yellowstone and seen the hot pots, it was kind of like that. I've been inside any of the volcano right. areas with sulfur. Except it was paint. <laughs> yeah. yeah. No, it's good. <laughs> <coughs> Pardon me. Or, or forgot what all of our Easter eggs were. <laughs> oh no. Yeah. Got oh, no. About yeah. mid August, you found them. So it didn't <laughs> smell pretty, but it did those things so all the good. And if we have time, we, the, we actually have more to do again today. Oh, great. <laughs> Yay. It's getting down to. <laughs> the nitty gritty here. Uh, delicious. I'm gonna eat my burrito. Oh, that's so good. Is he, is he gonna eat the whole day? No, he probably won't eat all of it. Yeah. Let us know when he's, he's gonna. Time. He's gonna munch and then he's gonna he's play. Work. And we'll clean him up and put him back up in the kennel. Let him finish. And, uh, so, go ahead. If you see behind you, those two are kind of active right now. Yeah, those two. They, those are our good friends. And that's all the noise that you're hearing. You're playing. We, it's okay, we guys. We have taken out all of the, uh, the bedding yes. and the good morning. food dish and the litter box and everything. Because they're so active, they're just destroying the place. Oh, they're just tearing it up. So we take everything out of there, give them a couple of balls, and let them just have a half an hour of running, like, yeah. rowdy, romping, chasing balls and, until they wear themselves out and fall asleep. And then we put everything back in there. <laughs> Kimberly, thanks so much for joining us and for sharing. Appreciate it. Sally J. Price says, cute, smoky, gray guy. Quite the long face there. They sound like they're tearing the place up. That's a big thing. Having a ball. Because <laughs> there's a ball. Literally. Because there's a ball. But um, gee. <laughs> what do we think? Are we done with your meal? Are we done? So I kind of want to wonder. Nice pudgy belly. He did not like that. <laughs> Krista says, hello everybody. Hello Krista, thanks hey. for joining us. Hi. Appreciate it. We're going to clean him up and put him back in. Get all that food off of you. Oh, clean off your little face. Mm, he's got Get a little eye, eye boogers. Yeah. Oh, stop eye backing boogers. up. We no. could use a cold towel, you know. I'm sure that would feel much better, huh? No, it wouldn't. 
you wouldn't like, like that. When you were, you know, a kid, did your mom ever lick her finger or hand? And oh, then try oh to yeah. Thankfully, my mom no. never did. <laughs> yeah. It was always like. I never like did that to you. Right I do that to Jack. Yeah. <laughs> like, right in front of everybody. Right in front of all of your friends. Yeah. <laughs> a little spit bath for mom. <laughs> That's probably what this kitten's feeling like. He's like, hey, everybody's watching me. It's never had bath. You. You know, the dogs that did it. Yeah, the dogs did it for me. <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> I had well-trained dogs. <clears throat> Lana finished eating. Now, Sally says, <laughs> if someone was interesting, interested in adopting one of the kittens seen on the triage broadcast, how do they go about that? <clears throat> well, um, the ones that are in here are not ready for adoption. Just um, yet, yeah. This is the first stop that they make. Uh, some of them some of them come in and uh, they get transferred to uh, some of our uh, our partners like a cat adoption team or OHS. Mm -hmm. So they, they kind of get spread out to different um, OHS other is the Oregon Humane Society. Yeah. Um, they get spread out to other rescues obviously we we don't have the space or the ability to adopt out 800 to a thousand kittens on our own. <laughs> right as we're the cleaning facility and we're an open we're an open door shelter we yeah. accept really all the strays that come to us and there's a lot of stray kittens yeah and so we usually you know the kitten triage program is the first first stop for them for them to get everything they need and then usually some of them are, are adopted mm -hmm. out of our facility but many others are transported to Oregon Humane Society or Cat Adoption Team because really their bread and butter is is adoptions. They're well-oiled adoption machines mm -hmm. and they're, they're great at sending these kittens home whereas we don't necessarily have the facility space to house them until they're adopted and oftentimes you know we have foster homes but sometimes they fill up. <laughs> Sometimes they fill up too. Or the, or the staffing so, to do that many adoptions. So the oh, long gosh. answer, I, well I guess the short answer is, you know, you can uh, look at our adoptable pets page with Ernest and, you know, usually when they hit, when they're big enough to be spayed and neutered, they're available for adoption yeah. shortly thereafter. So Sally's saying, I know many are still too young, just wondering how you could follow one if you were interested. Litter of five from last week with two Siamese marked ones are the ones I'm thinking of. Uh, I don't the, think they do that. The, trying to think of the. I think they were transferred. Yeah, mm -hmm. I mean. So, yeah, it, so do you know where they were transported would, to? No. It would be hard. Um, I think Cat Adoption Team they were transferred to. That, yes. that is a, just the hard part because oh, we don't always awesome. have it. Oh, my stapler! Thank you! Thank you! I love you, Allison! Yeah, so Jackie's saying we think they were transferred to Cat Adoption Team in Shearwood, which would be a good place to look. Yeah. Um, if you'd like, Sally, we can double check for you and see where they went. Yeah. Uh, we don't have a, a really formal procedure for for placing adoption holds or for tracking these adoptions, but if, yeah, if you like, come for serve. right, it's okay. usually first come, first serve, but we can look into it if they were transferred and let you know where, where they, they went. Don't judge me. <laughs> All right, let's pay him back. All right. Okay. You got and, your uh, breakfast. We got other babies that need fed too. Oh. Holly get Holly's uh, transferred out to his Holly went to foster, yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> um I miss him so much. <laughs> Sally says Hello? thanks, I can go look at their website. Hi, it's a Yeah, it's it's really hard to um to really say in here. That's the one thing with kittens that are in here. There's so many different directions that they can go. Um, so it's really hard. Right, this is kind of the... And, and I don't have a lot to do with any of that as to where they go. That's why I'm right. Yeah. 
uh, this is kind of the friend lines where we yeah. give them everything they need and then um, Jen Sparkman who you're actually going to meet later today at 2 p.m. she's the one who would coordinate the foster homes or the transports of the kittens in this program so we'll be joining Jen uh, later at 2 p.m. and maybe that's a question for her Sally if you're if you're around at 2 we'll see what Jen Sparkman that's says So these guys, more itty bitties. Okay. And all of these guys are eating wet food, and they're eating pretty well on their own, but I like to take the small ones out and feed them out here as well, just to make sure that they're each getting their fair share of food, because some can be bigger pigs than others, and to make sure that each one is eating well enough. You know? Let's see, kind of monitor who's eating what. Yeah. And we're getting and, out. Oh, is everybody getting down? No, just just for you two. You guys Donna. want to be in the delicious, beautiful orange color? Donna, Donna Cohen says, and my fosters will be coming in at two for a checkup. Yes. They were on Kitten Triage Tuesday three weeks ago. Donna will be here um, at two o'clock for an appointment for the six week checkup for vaccination. And deworming and stuff. Okay. Uh, so, guys, gonna be back in here. Yeah. Then, uh, oh. So at 2 p.m. because it's it's gonna be our very last broadcast later today at 2 p.m. We're gonna spend some time with Jen Sparkman. We're also gonna stop in here for a last farewell to wrap up the program. I mean, wrap up the broadcast. <laughs> not, not the program. This program will never end. Yeah, yeah. No. With the way it's needed. Okay, so. So these kiddos came in last week. I think you guys um, met them. Maybe? I don't remember. Except at that time um, they didn't have. They didn't well, have we didn't, we, didn't, we just didn't know. <laughs> they were a filthy mess and dirty and. and they were grimy. Grimy. They're, and then after giving them a bath, I noticed on one of their feet. Um, there was missing hair. Oh no. One. So. <laughs> just barely. So we did the wood clamp over them again. Um, and with them being clean, it actually glowed. It actually glowed, yes. Um, so. They, uh. Only one of them has any signs and lesions or anything. But we consider all of them contagious because they've been in the room together. Okay. But they're small and tiny little things that we really need to still make sure that they're eating getting well. plenty to eat. Right. And it feeds some ringworm kittens. All right. Are you ready? Yep. I'm just going to pop them out here. Are we also going to do a mine and sulfur bath? Or? Yes, we are. Awesome. Oh, oh. These kittens will be in the... <laughs> <laughs> Limelight. Oh my. <laughs> and they're oh. still grimy. <laughs> yeah, I mean, they're adorable. Oh yeah. Getting everything Stop they need. Stop meowing and eat. Stop meowing and eat. Stop meowing and eat. Eat. One of them can figure it out. They are adorable. I mean, they're grimy and ringwormy right now, but thanks to your support, no, they're going to get all cleaned up. They're going to receive the treatment they need to find forever homes. And once once they're ready, it's not going to take long for these kiddos. I'm they a little are screamer adorable. over yeah. here. Yeah. See, naturally, it's the run uh, that there's shorter hair. And when they're covered in filth, sometimes it doesn't glow. <laughs> Sally says, "Ah, oh, four musketeers." <laughs> yeah. Can you eat out of your own bowl, please? And just showing her how to eat. Yeah, I'm just gonna eat well. <laughs> so, so if you haven't seen us use the woods lamp, um, it's basically like a black light that. Plastic ones? Yeah. 
that we use to spot ringworm, which will glow underneath the wood okay. lamp. But there are also other things that glow, like the baby food we give them can glow, or if they have other substances on their body. There we go. Yep. This is the wood lamp. And it's got a, a special light bulb. It's an ultraviolet black light. There you go. You're eating finally. Oh, don't disturb him right now. He's finally eating. <laughs> You're going to wait. <laughs> oh, don't disturb him. <laughs> I know. Hi. How are you? No, your foot belly is full. Look at that. Oh, look at you leaving little footprints. Yeah, he keeps walking through the dish. Nice of you. Walking through the food. Mm, that's just wet food. Okay. Yeah. You have a little stuff in your fur. I'm just looking at your first. Look, where are you doing at that? Oh my goodness, look at you. Now, how old so, would you say these kittens are? You guys are close to four weeks. They're about three and a half. Yeah. Um, so, when we turn on the light, this we turn on the light. <laughs> there we go. It comes on and it glows a purple, whatever you want, color you want to call that. There is our little oh, streamer. Oh, oh. oh, there you are. Oh, look at that. Having a little ringworm black light party. Yeah. yeah. So, when you shine it over, hi, sweetie that area that's missing hair. It'll show up and if we're going to be able to see it or not. It's hard to see, but you can see little spots where it's glowing, kind of a green. Um, when it's super bad, it glows like a neon yellow. Yeah. They have been treated. They've gotten the uh, a couple of baths now. <clears throat> so it's starting to yeah, not go quite as badly. That's good. Means you're getting better. Yeah. Oh, guys. What's hard with these little ones is that we can't we can't do. Uh, they're too too little for the oral medications that go along with it. That will help make it clear up a little bit faster. Don't jump. Uncle Jay's so got gotcha. you. Totally dependent upon getting it cleared up with the bounds. <coughs> now we've been we've been telling folks that our estimate is that it takes about $50 per kitten to really send them through this program, and that covers the vaccines, the medications, the food, and the staff time it needs to really take care of them. And some are more of a labor of love than others, like these ringworm kittens. It really takes some time to give them the treatment they need, and the baths, and everything they need to have that cleared up. So if you do the math, if we get 800 to 1,000 kittens, and it takes about $50 per kitten. Everything you can contribute is needed and appreciated and will save lives in this program. We set a goal for this campaign of $15,000. Thanks to your generosity, we've exceeded that goal. We're at $16,498 last I checked. Which is, which is wonderful. We're thrilled and we're grateful for all of your support.
You can make a donation by clicking on the link that I posted in the comments at the beginning of the broadcast. You can also visit our website, multiplepets.org, for a link to donate to the program. Before this program started, for those of you who are new, we could only save about two-thirds of the kittens who came to us because there really wasn't anything formal in place to take care of the kittens beyond the regular staff. And so depending on the day, depending on whether fosters were available, depending on whether we have the resources to really treat them for you know, ringworm and, and to give them fluids and to bottle feed them if needed, that was, you know, there were so many factors. And now with this program in, in place, we're able to save over 90 percent. It was at 93.6 percent last year. We were able to save 93.6 percent of the kittens in the program. And even those who didn't, who failed to thrive, we still do everything we can to make sure that they get the treatment that they need. Will you go restock the beds, please? <clears throat> we are completely out. These guys will definitely need them. Yeah. Little yellow lime sulfur <laughs> footprints. So, with the lime sulfur, basically it's just they get a bath and then they drip dry because um, we want that sulfur to work into the skin and kill all of that fungus. All the ringworm fungus. Yeah. Yeah. For those of you who weren't here for the last time, ringworm is a fungus, it's not a worm. Um, or a parasite. Down the, uh, thing. Oh, and it guy. turns her cute little white yellow. <laughs> little like dying an Easter egg. <laughs> Rotten Easter mm -hmm. eggs. Is slippery and wet. Let's see, last yes. week Justin did we film for half an hour or an hour? Uh, it was a half an hour. Half an hour? Yeah. Okay. We'll probably say goodbye in a few minutes, but we want to make sure that we catch the end of their bath. And this, <laughs> um, these towels are on a heated blankie, um, not blankie, a uh, heated pad. So it, it stays nice and warm. Yeah. If they stay on the pad. <laughs> yeah. This really does remind me of egg salad. Or deviled eggs. <laughs> hey, don't ruin deviled eggs for me. Yeah, I know. <laughs> no. I'm starting to, yeah. Oh man, deviled eggs are really bad. <laughs> she doesn't like them. I don't like any real egg dish. <laughs> Yum. Just some try and put them in. Thank you. And it says the poor little things. Yep, it's pretty, pretty rough to have ringworm. When she closed the thing and you moved his head up, and thought that was his head hitting. Oh, <laughs> it was not his head. That was the door closing. Boom. <laughs> 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 right, so we have now we have four wet kittens, delicious smelling kittens. So this is just one example of how your donations are saving lives and treating kittens in this program. The Kitten Triage Program treats over 800 to, to 1,000 kittens every year. Thanks to your generous support, we're able to save over 93.6% of the kittens in our program, and you know that number could even go up. 
this is a grassroots program and it's it's really thanks to our community that this started back in was it 2013 yeah, or so yeah, yeah. 2013 we converted this <laughs> uh, mobile spay and neuter trailer into the kitten triage trailer and it's been saying this adorableness ever since <laughs> Ringworm so thank you everyone for tuning in. Thank you, for thank you to our many oh. volunteers who are watching, who are fostering, who are caring for animals oh. in the shelter. <laughs> thank you to everybody who's donated so far. Uh, we appreciate all of your support. You can make you can make another donation if you'd like. To wrap up the, the program, we'll be um, We'll be raising funds actively for this program through this coming Friday. And thank you everybody for tuning in. And this is Alana and oh, Alana <laughs> and Jackie, <laughs> Justin, and I'm Jay. Please join us again at 2 p.m. for our final Kitten Triage Tuesday.